Hello, this is BBC News and these are the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. Ukraine says three people were killed, including a child, after that maternity hospital was bombed during a supposed ceasefire in Mariupol. Its mayor says President Putin has destroyed a peaceful city. They wanted to take the lives of our children, our women, our doctors, who've been fighting for 14 days of war for the lives of every child who came under fire from enemy weapons. Heineken and Unilever are the latest firms to pull out of Russia. The foreign ministers of Ukraine and Russia are holding face-to-face -face talks in Turkey to try to come to some agreement that would end the conflict. Preparing to defend themselves against the Russian army, residents of Ukraine's biggest seaport, Odessa, create their own weapons for a possible attack. Ukraine's third largest city has been braced for a Russian assault for many days now, and having seen what's happened elsewhere, they know what to expect when it comes. The UK government's looking at streamlining its refugee scheme for those fleeing the war in Ukraine. It comes after widespread condemnation for its handling of refugees' visas. The Home Secretary is very much aware of the need to remove as much bureaucracy as she can, but she does have to balance that against the risk, and I know she'll make the right choice. And Chelsea Football Club's owner, Roman Abramovich, is sanctioned by the UK for his links to Vladimir Putin as the UK government continues to pressure Russia over its invasion of Ukraine.